Rebecca Rush, professional mountain bike racer. We are here at Powder Mountain, the site of the very first USA Cycling Nationals for pet biking. We built the course. We got some downhill section with some bank corners and a few little rollers and some jumps. This fat bike craze is awesome. I can't believe how fast the sport's growing. As soon as I tried it, I was completely hooked. When the snow is lousy for skiing, it's like, all right, I'll go on a bike ride. The obvious difference with a fat bike tire is it's twice the width of a typical mountain bike tire. Basically, you run a lot less pressure, so you might run five, even down to three PSI. Say you have rocks or snow, the idea is the tire is going to kind of mold over and spread out and disperse the weight. It's a pretty exciting time. Hard to explain that exact feeling. Floating on air, kind of, I guess. <laughs> so what makes a good fat bike course is hard snow. Snow is not a consistent medium. Maybe there's powder one day or it's firm, hard packed the next day. And you're just like, oh, I can't believe I'm riding on this surface. And then other times you sort of fishtail and you're like, Whoa. I had no idea how fun it was until I actually got on the bike. <laughs> there is not a typical fat biker. There's a lot of people that are going out and enjoying the snow. And then there's people that are getting the race on and getting all geeked out with tires and gear. And across the board, it's appealing to everyone. You're riding bikes on snow, first of all. Like, that's silly, but it's awesome. I think it's really cool that USA Cycling and Volkswagen got behind hosting the very first Fat Bike National Championships, and it shows, yeah, you can race on snow. I mean, people will see what riders are doing and go, what is that, what is that bike? Oh man, I want one of those, that looks really fun.